Hi, hello and welcome back to our channel. Thank you very much for popping in. Thank you for all your lovely comments and thank you very much to everyone who checks every single video we produce. We really appreciate it. If it's your first time here, my name is Kat. I live in a caravan, work on the caravan inside and I travel. And today I want to tell you a little bit about toilet cassette and I will I will show you our hack we worked out after many years of living in a caravan and in a motorhome. Uh, I will show you our hack how to clean, how to deep clean a toilet cassette to make sure you don't have any bad smells, uh, it's hygienic and that your cassette serves you many many years. So uh, let's not dive in, however awkward it sounds, serious toilet talk today, serious cleaning and deep cleaning of toilet cassette which really must be done if you want to enjoy your life in a motorhome or in a caravan so give me a hands up and let's start this exciting topic It's quite comforting, really, that it doesn't matter if your caravan is 30 years old or 3 years old or it's brand new or if you have a lovely shiny motorhome or an RV, everyone, absolutely everyone, has to empty their toilet cassette. Unless you have a fancy American RV and you pump it out, you pump out your waist like on a narrow boat rather than empty the cassette. Excuse the builders who are working next door, you may hear them from time to time. Right, so the toilet cassette, it needs to be cleaned. We deep clean it every week because otherwise it simply stinks and you don't want that. And just a reminder that all toilet in the caravan, the bit we sit on, the, the bowl, the cassette, it's all made of plastic. It's not ceramic, which makes cleaning and maintenance a bit tricky, but we've got our secret, secret weapon, our top gun, and this is bleach, yeah. And before you call me names uh, for using bleach on a caravan inside, yeah, I am mindful of the danger it possesses. It, it's a threat to the septic tank and bacteria in the septic tank. But if you do it once in a while, once a week, and you use just a little bit, bit of bleach and you consult the site owners, you may be all right. But my advice is yes, check with the site, check with the owners of the site if you can do that. All right, so we will pull the cassette. I emptied it yesterday. Ooh, someone didn't close it, naughty naughty. So, as you can see, I don't use gloves. Yeah, there are two camps basically around uh, caravanners. There are two camps among us, those uh, of them who use uh, gloves when doing cassette and those uh, crazy maniacs like me who don't. Why I don't use it? It's probably a topic for another video. Today we are deep cleaning the cassette, so let's get back to the topic. So of course we use special fluid for the flush and you can also pour a little bit of this here in the cassette, but nothing works as wonderful for deep cleaning as bleach. It doesn't have to be any fancy bleach. It could be supermarket's own brand. It doesn't make a difference. Bleach is bleach. Right, so now we need to get to the chemical toilet uh, point and I will see you there. So ladies and gentlemen, yeah, we are walking around with our cassette, but uh, the plan was to get you there uh, immediately, but you have to see it. Look, this is my route to the chemical toilet point. Isn't it glorious? Isn't it beautiful? This is the place where I live. Yeah, and I do, uh, I don't mind really emptying my toilet cassette if it means I can do it in such a beautiful place. Don't you agree? Okay, back to the topic. Deep cleaning, deep cleaning is waiting for us. Now, seriously, see you there. Right, welcome to the chemical toilet point. Okay, so I'm getting ready to empty my cassette and you don't worry guys because I only have we in my cassette We don't do number twos, so it will not be traumatic for you Right as you can see now gloves if you feel like Convincing me why I should use gloves for this. Please write me a comment uh, Yeah, let me know in the comments. Do you use or maybe you don't use gloves? Just like me Right, so we'll, em we'll empty the cassette. I hope you have a good vision. 
Oh, I love these uh, chemical toilet points. These b big plastic things. Right, just a bit of wee. So now I will flush my uh, cassette with clean water. Right, so now we can empty it. And now it's time for the proper hack. So I have an empty cassette here. And what I'm going to do now is pour a little bit of bleach inside, not too much. I don't know how much, a few teaspoons, just a bit, one, two, three, done. And now we need to fill it up with clean water up to the brim. So it's full of water and leave it like that for at least five, 10 minutes. Okay, so I have bleached there and now water is going to dilute it and my, the whole inside of cassette will be nicely sanitized and sterilized. So now we just have to wait. Right, so as you can see, uh, it's full now, very good. So we can leave it for at least five, 10 minutes to work on the plastic so this bleach works through the plastic and as we are waiting a question for you have you ever seen a similar chemical toilet anywhere in the world this one is not british it it's not manufactured in the uk have you seen it anywhere else in the world if you let me know in the comments uh, which country it comes from where it was manufactured and if you are right i will send you a postcard from sunny devon right so now after five ten minutes i will Empty this again, flush it again with clean water, and we will be ready to go. Right, so all dirty work done we are back home i'm going to put the cassette back and we can start to wee again we have two or three days of happy carefree pissing <laughs> all right i noticed that a few neighbors are watching what i'm doing here with this camera and probably they are thinking that my life must be very sad if i'm filming emptying uh, and cleaning my cassette so for this sake please leave me a thumbs up for my sacrifice okay all done right so almost everything done i forgot one thing but we'll catch up in a minute uh, so just a word of warning yes bleach is wonderful for cleaning and removing any nasty smells from your cassette but use it carefully check with the site if it's safe uh, if you are allowed actually to use the bleach as i said we only use it once a week and very little of it but if everyone here on site was doing, was doing the same what I did today, every day, and they used a lot of bleach, that will cause a problem to the septic tank. If you are not sure, you can always clean your cassette uh, when you get back home and just flush everything down your toilet. For our flush, uh, we use this uh, liquid, which comes in five liter containers. This is great value. Of course, if you buy a small bottle uh, in camping shops, it will be very expensive. So we ordered this stuff online and co comes in big containers and it works well. It has some uh, perfume, so we use it in the flash and we also pour a little bit uh, inside the cassette. So each time you open it to use it, uh, you are not uh, ambushed with horrible smell from inside because this one contains very unique perfume. Two very unique perfume. Is that what? Chanel number five? To leave your bowl smelling pleasant and fre fresh. And this is really funny. Formulated to disinfect and prevent the formation of obnoxious and explosive gases. So if you, are, if you want to make sure that your cassette doesn't explode, use something like that. Uh, also, it has unique perfume. Okay, so we will take it out and pour my toilet Chanel number no. five inside. Nice and clean. I'm sure there's a way of opening this. Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
luckily it was clean because a bit of liquid went all over my camera and my glasses okay so just a little bit of ye yellow blue stuff for happy perfumed toilet sessions okay we'll close it again so now we are ready now we are ready to we for another two three happy days now job is done right so it's time to say goodbye i hope you enjoy this little video my little uh, toilet talk uh, let me know if you are going to use this method to clean your cassette and if you do also let me know about your results if you are pleased pleased with the results thank you very much for watching thank you to everyone who have already who has already subscribed to the channel thank you for all lovely comments and questions we will try to answer them as we go also if you have an idea for the next episode if you have a question about living in a caravan or working on a caravan inside shoot in the comments and i will make a video to answer your questions thank you very much for watching for being with me here on this beautiful day and i will see you in the next video if you haven't subscribed it if you haven't subscribed yet please do it because otherwise you will miss out on amazing exciting interesting stuff take care and see you again bye